Hey guys, I thought it might be fun if I showed you guys what I eat in a day. So I have kind of a unique diet just because two years ago, no, three years ago, I got my blood tested to see what I was allergic to because I was having some digestive issues. It came back that I was allergic to wheat, dairy, malt, soy, eggs, and peanuts. So they'll give you a scale of one to 10, how much you're allergic to each thing that you were tested for. I mean, I won't die if I eat them because they're all low on the scale of how allergic I am to them. They did say that even if you're eating something you're allergic to and it doesn't affect you too bad, it can have more intense long-term effects. So it's best to avoid the things you're allergic to if you can. In no way am I saying that you guys should be eating what I eat. Honestly, what I would recommend is that if you do have any stomach issues, you go see a doctor and get that blood work done to see what you're allergic to. It's good to know what they are so you can avoid them. If you are avoiding dairy or wheat, what I eat in a day might give you some ideas. So let's get started. Usually in the morning I'm late for work. <laughs> so I'll just grab a banana and a V8. V8s are great just because it's two servings of vegetables and it's so easy and quick. And if you don't like the taste, something that I think makes it taste better is if you add a little apple cider vinegar. For lunch at work, I almost always go to Cafe Rio. I know it's not in every state, but I know they're expanding a lot. They're, they started in Utah, but it's a Mexican food restaurant. They have a lot of very fresh ingredients. I usually get their salmon salad. It comes with romaine lettuce, pico, guacamole, black beans, rice, and salmon. Every day, usually after coming back from the gym, I'll make a smoothie. I put kale and spinach, which is a great source of protein and iron. I put blueberries, which have tons of antioxidants and are good for cholesterol levels and your heart. Mangoes, which taste great. I also put in a wellness boost. It has 14 different superfoods. I put pea protein powder into my smoothies because soy protein and whey protein both bother my stomach. Hemp powder is one of my favorites. It's high in protein and zinc and is good for your heart. Um, one of the reasons I use a whole avocado is because on my 23andMe results it said that I was predisposed to macular degeneration. And that's one thing avocados are supposed to help prevent. I also put chia seeds in there, which are really high in protein, have tons of antioxidants and fiber. Sometimes I put bananas in there as well. It makes it taste better and gives it more potassium. One of my favorite things to make is oatmeal. Oats are one of the best grains for you. They're high in protein and good fat. They also have a bunch of antioxidants and help regulate blood sugar and are really high in fiber. To make them taste better, I always put a banana, some honey, and sunflower seed spread. Sunflower seed spread is great because um, it's really high in protein and I think it tastes way better than peanut butter. And since I'm allergic to peanuts, it makes a great alternative. I also love putting chia seeds in there. This is one of my favorite meals to make just because it's really high in protein, it's really easy to make, and I think it tastes really good. Hayden and I make a lot of salmon meals. One of our favorites to do is just baked broccoli, salmon, and quinoa. Quinoa is also really great for you because it's a complete protein. We like to experiment with how we spice the salmon. Sometimes we'll use just regular garlic salt. Other times we put paprika or turmeric on it. And if you're looking for something sweet, this isn't the healthiest thing in the world, but if you mix barbecue sauce, brown sugar, and cinnamon together, it makes for one of the best tasting salmons I've ever had. While the things that I'm eating now have helped me feel way better, stomach-wise and energy-wise, everybody's different. These are just the things that have helped me the most. And just so you guys know, I definitely break habit from what I usually eat. There's definitely times where 
Hayden wants to go somewhere to eat that doesn't really have food that's something I'm not allergic to. And so we'll eat that. Sometimes I'll splurge and just get a burger. I definitely think it's okay to have cheat days every once in a while and like to not feel bad about those. Until next time, thanks guys.